If you don't have ultrasound, then you're not ready to take care of the patient who's in shock. Welcome back to day two of Crit Bits, and we're talking about undifferentiated shock. I'm sure there's a bunch of people that have told you when a patient comes in shock, give them 30 cc's per kg. But the truth of the matter is not all shock should be treated the same. For example, if you have somebody who has cardiogenic shock, you don't want to give 30 cc's per kg. So it's very important you understand the type of shock that the person is presenting with so you can treat it appropriately. And if you have somebody in undifferentiated shock, you're going to need the ultrasound to figure out what's going on. Remember when we talked about the pump, the pipe and the tank to evaluate the pump you're going to need to use ultrasound you need to see whether or not that left ventricle and the right ventricle are performing adequately knowing the answer to that is going to tell you the type of shock that the patient is in what if that person's in pericardial tamponade how are you going to know on your physical exam and before someone gets snarky in the comments says hey how come you didn't show a clip of pericardial tamponade I want you to close your eyes and imagine a heart that's surrounded by a bunch of fluid. There's your ultrasound clip. So that's how ultrasound is going to help you with the pump. They're also going to use ultrasound to help you with the tank to tell you whether or not the intravascular volume is there or not to resuscitate your patient. The IVC by itself is a crap test to tell you what the intravascular volume status is. So what do you do? You look to see how underfilled or overfilled the LV is, how overfilled or underfilled the right ventricle is. And if you're really good with ultrasound, you can also use things like the passive leg raise to tell you if the person is volume responsive. So remember, when you have that patient coming in in undifferentiated shock, or even if you know the type of shock, you need ultrasound to diagnose and resuscitate your patient effectively.